After months worth of backlash, months of lies about Tolkien, and months of attacks on Lord of the Rings fans, The Rings of Power on Amazon Prime is finally here. And it's exactly what everyone thought it was. It's exactly what Lord of the Rings fans and Tolkien fans, from the very first trailer, from all of the cast and crew interviews, from everything that's been said about this series, it's what we all knew all along. This series has nothing to do with Tolkien and nothing to do with Lord of the Rings. It is a complete and total bastardization. And within the first few hours, what are we, 15 hours or so after this thing is first released, you can see the result. The audience is already voicing their opinions and they do not like it. Down to 37% on Rotten Tomatoes right now. But with that being said, it is likely much, much lower because as we've seen so often from Rotten Tomatoes, they do everything they can to protect some of these properties. We've seen in real time them deleting negative reviews to try to boost that score, but they can only help it so much. I want to show you a couple screenshots. This is from Az, Heelvers Babyface. He shared this one. This is at 527 this morning, 41% with 1,000 reviews. Well, isn't that crazy that just five minutes later, they deleted, what, 350, 350 reviews, something like that, to get down to 650 and boost it back up to 47%. But the fans will continue to voice their opinions. The fans, regardless of if they continue to delete one-star reviews, because those must just be the fake ones, the fans will continue to voice their opinions. We saw a similar thing right here from Watcher at the Skies. Same exact thing. You had 37% with 2,200 reviews. And then, just a little bit later, delete 200 reviews to boost that up just a little bit. Right now, 37% with 2,476 should we do a refresh and see what happens right now? Uh, they Hey, look, they did delete a couple, but the score has remained exactly the same. And when we go and we look at these reviews, you can see a lot of people with half star, one star reviews, things like that. Some of them just say, this is dog shit, this is terrible, this is not Tolkien. Others go more in depth, obviously. We're seeing the same thing with five star reviews. You know, it's one sentence, five star reviews, no, no problem. This is obviously a very, a very real review. This is obviously a real review. Do you think this? This is a real review? Should you delete this because you think it's a bot? No, because this is a positive review. We know how Rotten Tomatoes works. But interestingly enough, Amazon Prime has done something on their own site. Look at this. I can be the first person to review Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. That, that's weird. I mean, it's been out for, what, 15 hours now. I could be the first person to review it? Weird that a lot of their other programs don't work like this. Weird that you can just go to the boys when it first came out. You could leave a review and you'd immediately be able to see the stars associated with that review. You know for sure that for something like the boys, you can rate it and you can see what people's ratings are. This is specifically for season three. Shockingly enough, not for Rings of Power, but they want you to know it is the top show in the United States right now. Like, this is a joke. We know what they're doing. They are hiding it. They are hiding the reviews on their own platform, so you know it must be really that bad. For them to be scared to show their own ratings on their platform, this is what it's like for Amazon right now. Now, listen, uh, the first two episodes are a slog. Uh, I found myself legitimately drifting off to sleep multiple times and had to wake up and, and like see exactly what happened these characters are not lord of the rings J.R. tolkien characters galadriel is not tolkien's galadriel elrond is not tolkien's elrond uh, and every single character that actually does derive from tolkien is not really anything like themselves i will do a more in-depth reaction first impression whatever at some point in time but i had to let everybody know about the fans reaction because the fans for six months have been voicing their concerns for six months they've been attacked by the mainstream media and even attacked by amazon cast and crew members themselves and now it all comes out that those fans were right the entire fucking time. The fans who said, this doesn't look anything like Tolkien. This doesn't look anything like Lord of the Rings. Now, as everyone starts to see what's actually going on, yeah, looks like they were right. Now, I will say some positives about this. Um, visually, there's some moments that I do think are very good. There's a couple musical moments as well, specifically uh, when you go to Casa of Doom. I, I think that music is, is like really solid and really good. Other than that, the music doesn't stand out in any way, shape, or form for me. The dialogue is basic bitch. 
Like, like the dialogue is basic bitch. It is not Lord of the Rings. Galadriel is basically the most unlikable person in this series, which kind of sus because she's the lead in it. But this is what we all expected. Fans are speaking out. Fans are pushing back. Fans are making their voices heard while everyone else continues to try to silence them, to shill for Amazon's Lord of the Rings. The most expensive TV series ever made that so far is being summarily rejected. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.